Tim Casey with Garmin, you have all of these delightful, lovely screens, moving maps, things that go bump in the night, bells and whistles. When it comes right down still to it, you still have to have a basic Navcom in your airplane. And we're here with one of your newest products, the GNC 225. What's different about this radio? Uh, yeah, this, this radio is uh, <clears throat> uh, different in that, and I like to start by just saying that the uh, uh, people all ask about what's the difference between this and the SL30s and the SL40s. The GNC 225 will be replacing the SL30s, and the GTR 225s replace our SL40, COM only. We have the NAVCOM here, which does both, of course, and it also comes in different wattages. It starts at 10 watts. SL40s and the SL30s were 8 watts, and you also have an option for a 16-watt COM with this product. In addition, one of the main reasons that we designed a new radio, if you will, is because we needed 8.33 kilohertz spacing for the European marketplace. So we understand this is not a direct drop-in replacement for a previous radio. No, it's not. It has a larger screen, for one thing, than the older models, a much brighter screen also. In addition to that, it is 1.6 inches tall instead of 1.3 inches tall. So it's not that much bigger, but it is not a slide-in replacement, that's for sure. Take us through some of the features of this NAVCOM. One of the biggest advancements of this radio in comparison to the SL30 and SL40 is that it does actually have a database. Okay, so it has airports and VORs, so it can actually perform the uh, nearest function since it can know where you're at if you have it integrated with the GPS. That is one of the biggest advantages. Before, you'd have to pull up your frequency either on one of our other displays, whether it be a 430, 530, GTN 650, GTN 750, and then hit enter to connect and put the uh, frequency in standby. Now, you can just simply hit the function button here you can get your frequency list, which is we store about 25 of your COM frequencies that you want to store. We also can store your NAV frequencies, of course. And if you enter on the nearest airport function, that function won't work in this hangar because we don't have the GPS uh, <laughs> attached. But it would give you the Sebring Airport, which is where we're at. So this is the GNC 225. You've got five models of this basic radio. Correct. We've got the radio only, the comm only, just like the SL40, and we call that the GTRs. And we have three models of GTRs. One is the 10 watt standard that most everybody's going to get. That's 1995, so it really is the replacement for the SL40. And then there's a GTR 225A, which is also 10 watts, but has an 8.33 comm in it. And then there's the GTR 225B for those big boys who need 16 watts and 8.33 kilohertz. Then we have the NAVCOM, this one. We have two versions of that. One is 10 watt with 8.33 and the other is 16 watt with 8.33. Basically, the SL30 replacement, the GNC, is $39.95. I hope there's not going to be a quiz, but I'm sure they can find it all on Garmin.com. That is correct. They can find it all on Dharma.com. We have a press release out, and uh, we should be delivering, by the way, by the end of this month. Now, this, uh, this radio in particular has, uh, has a TSO certification, and you're waiting on EASA? Uh, that's correct. We have the FAA TSO already. We've applied with EASA, and we're expecting, we're expecting it within 30 days to have EASA approval to on the 8.33. All right, very good. Tim Casey with Garmin, thanks very much for talking with us on Aero TV. Thank you, sir. Aero TV is brought to you by. Are you ready for the next generation of light sport airplanes? Check out the all new Bristol. Fun, fast, and easy to fly. Learn more at www.bristol.com. Pipistrel's innovative new Alpha Trainer has been designed from the ground up for flying school operations. Powered by a Rotax 80 horsepower engine, the Alpha burns only 2.5 U.S. gallons of fuel per hour at 100 to 108 knots, giving you the opportunity to make flight training cost-effective once again. Be sure to check out the Pipistrel Alpha when you're ready to select your next trainer. Get more info at pipistrel-usa.com. No other aircraft explores the limits of the light sport category more than the Carbon Cub SS. 
It can land and take off in patches that you thought were accessible only to helicopters and hikers. And it does so with a grace, confidence, and control that are Cub hallmarks. If you thought that light sport was just for budget-minded beginners or for veteran pilots stymied by FAA medicals, you simply must fly a Carbon Cub SS. Check us out at www.cubcrafters.com.